Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to use a web browser inside Unreal Engine 5. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, make sure you guys do join my Discord server. And if you guys do wish to support me, link to my Patreon as well is in the description. Now, before we get to using the web browser itself, I want to talk about why you would actually need it. Now, you'll need a web browser in order to display HTML content on your screen. Now, the UI which you build in Unreal Engine is uh, based on widgets. So, this is uh, very similar to any other GUI framework that you might come across. So, you can add a button. Uh, you know, the general rule is you add a canvas panel and start with that. But the thing is, the most common format to display stuff in a front end is going to be using HTML. And one day or another, you will run into a situation or if you're watching this video, you probably already have, you'll run into a situation where you have to display HTML. Thankfully, Unreal Engine has features for that as well. So first of all, head into plugins and type in HTML. Won't work. Type in web browser. So type in web browser and go ahead and enable that. Now you can go ahead and restart the editor. Now if you have a file plugin that is going to help as well. But for now I'll just hard code the HTML outside. So wait for the editor to load. Meanwhile we can make uh, a file here. So you can right click, go to new. Uh, we'll just create a text document. We'll just change the extension to .html. So we can call it whatever, we can say page.html let's say. And in the browser it's just blank like this. Now if I open with notepad or something, now you would use a better editor of course if you want to get some serious work done. But I'm just showing you the bare bones way. So I'll just go ahead and close the HTML tag here. And I'll just put some simple content. So I'll say body. And I'll use some inline CSS here. So BG color. Uh, or rather I'll just set the foreground color. Or background color. Sorry. Background uh, color. And we can set that to let's say black. Or we can set it to a gray shade. So let's say 0F, 0F, 0F. I'm just choosing a random shade here. Now what I can also do is okay we can close this for now and we can add in some text so let's say we say hello and then we add a line break and then we say hi and then we can just add a line break as well uh, and one more reason you might use this is for uh, let's say superscript and subscript so i can make this superscript as well so now hi is going to be in superscript all right it's just some basic html now, what I can do is I can create a widget blueprint, which I've already done. And I'll just add it to the viewport so that we can see the changes. So this is something you're probably used to. So create the widget and you can go ahead and add it to the viewport. Go ahead and select our new widget blueprint. Now it should be blank, but soon enough, we'll have something displayed. So just drag in the web browser widget. And over here for the initial URL, just copy the file path. You can actually put a real URL as well. That is totally fine. You can go ahead and copy the file path. Oops, control V. I suggest you put forward slashes, but doesn't matter. And this is going to be page.html. So save that. And if I go ahead and press play, as you see, we get hello and we get hi in the next line. Now the hi seems small because it's in superscript actually. So what I'll do is I'll remove the line break so that you can see the superscript. So head back in here. Open this with a notepad. So open with notepad. And over here I'll just remove the line break. Right. And now if I go ahead and run this. As you see we get hello and we get hi in superscript. Now obviously you'll need to make your page responsive, improve the font size and stuff. So that is something which you probably might have to do. And another thing which I would suggest is if you want to do something like zooming in, 
So you can do something like this. So let's say you set this to 2. You can do it in blueprint code. You can set the render transform. Oops. So 2 and 2 here. And you can set the translation as well. So the translation is going to be 1. Oops. It's going to be half the size. So let's say... I don't know, let's take a rough guess, 900. So 1920 by 2 is going to be 960. And if we go a bit down, we can wrap it to the canvas panel so we can actually see the boundaries. So this is going to be 540, halfway. If you actually wrap with a canvas panel, you can actually see the boundaries and you can work with it, of course. All right, so now this is going to zoom the text slightly in. So as you see, we are a bit zoomed in. Now, this does not look that clear because we are manually zooming in. But again, I just showed you guys a way to actually zoom in and stuff. So right now, we'll not do that. So right now, we'll just keep it to the default dimensions. What I want to also show you guys is switching between pages. So I'll just leave a delay of about a second. And we can grab our web browser as a variable. So select that and make it a variable. And now what you can do is you can say, if you type in URL, you would get load URL. Now let's say we go to www.google.com. So you can, you can specify the protocol. It should do it by on its own. So HTTPS. All right, let's go ahead and press play. And after about a second, we should go to google.com. So as you can see, we get a full-fledged web browser right inside our game. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up. Also, links down in the video description below, as I mentioned, are links to my Discord server and my Patreon page if you guys do wish to support me. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.